What's going on YouTube? What's happening? It's Beretta19 here, back at you with another video. Hope everybody had a blessed day. Hope everybody's doing good. Uh, you guys, uh, it's been been quite of a week for me. Just been working hard. Uh, if you're new to the channel, please like, comment, subscribe, hit your notification bell, and drop as many comments as you can down below. Uh, real quick, I want to thank all my supporters. Uh, for people watching the channel, comment on the channel from family, friends, cousins, and strangers. Uh, I appreciate you guys very much. Uh, it's kind of uh, late and everything. It's actually, uh, let me see here. It's actually 12 o'clock. Uh, 12 o'clock midnight. 12 or 9 to be exact. But I just felt compelled to uh, post this video up and everything. I try to, like I say, keep... Try to keep more better consistent. As you guys see, I've been trying to get more consistent, despite the fact that I work almost every day. Hope everybody ready for Christmas too. Um, this video pretty much <coughs> was about and everything. It's relating to truck drivers. As you guys well know, I've said it a bazillion times that I'm a truck driver, and I want to clear up a quick myth. I know it's been some videos, some people have discussed it in the past. But I want to make sure currently. And everything for people who are, if, if somebody's that are truckers that watch my channel and everything, um, if they, you know, we'll get some clarification on something. So here's the thing. There's this myth going around that you're not supposed to carry firearms in your truck. Okay. If you're, like I said, you're a truck driver, I'm speaking of strictly truck drivers right now. There's a myth going around right now, like I said that you, truckers are not supposed to have guns in their trucks. First of all, that is a lie, and that is not law. Don't be fooled by anybody. Don't let nobody tell you that it is law. The problem is, I probably said this in another video of mine, but I want to make this video specifically regarding that issue. Um, companies don't want you to have guns in your trucks because they don't, quote-unquote, quote-unquote, quote unquote, be held liable and everything in case you got to bust a cap in somebody's ass. And don't get me wrong, you guys, and everything. As I said before in my videos, I'm not here to promote violence. I'm not here to promote hate and anger, none of that craziness. But I am all for everybody getting home and everybody getting back to their family. So, in part, <coughs> excuse me, in part and everything, I just want to uh, tell you guys and everything. Make sure that you have, you know, have your license. And everything meaning your CCW license go to the uh, proper class. I know now because of the COVID and everything going around and stuff, people think got to get them online or uh, take classes online or whatever the case may be. It was different from when I took mine. I had mine for almost ten years. But um, yeah, just get your license. Whatever state you live in, make sure you know the reciprocity uh, for each state that you travel in. Make sure you know the gun laws for each state that you're traveling. Now, if you're a local driver, make sure you know your your um your laws for that state. Like for example, I live here in Ohio currently, and everything in uh Ohio has an open carry law as well as a stand ground law and a concealed carry law. Now, me personally, I prefer to open carry. That way, you know, like right off rip. Excuse me, right off rip, you let somebody know that I ain't got time for nobody BS. Excuse me, I'm sorry about that. I ain't got time for nobody BS, and you be prepared in case some shit goes down. Now, the number one rule I tell each and every driver pretty much is that make it back home. You know, especially if you've done long haul trucking like I have and everything, I want you to make it back home. Like you travel in and out of state, going down south, going to the west, going to the north, going northeast, go wherever you're going. Make sure you make it back home. That's the whole key. And you know the old saying, I'd rather be judged by 12 than be carried by 6. I'd rather, you know, my kids come see me. I mean, I don't have any kids. I'm just speaking in general. My kids, my family come see me. Wife come see me. My girlfriend come see me. And everything. I can battle, you know, a court battle and everything. To be sitting somewhere dead and don't nobody know who did it. Or the person or persons who did it, they get off scot-free. So... Also, to uh, go along with that, I have three firearms sitting here in front of me that I want to uh, kind of give you an options and everything, what you think you, what you should carry. Uh, first is everything. It's my latest one. 
and this is like I said, this once again, if you didn't hear me in the beginning, this is dedicated to truck drivers, specifically truck drivers. It's right here. This is my latest pistol here. Okay. I don't know if you guys can see that. This is a 45, my latest pistol. I shot it before and everything with a couple of videos and everything. This one holds 13 rounds with well, 12 rounds, but plus one in the chamber. It's a SAR US 45. Uh, I'm not sure how long this gun has been out, but it's been out for a little while. You guys seen I did a review on it and everything. Look at, you know, go down, scroll down the list, and you'll see I did a review on it and everything. Baby shoots nice. I shot it at the range. Accurate. Very low recoil. And it's, it feels very good. It's a very big, thick gun and everything, like I said. Now, the way I carry my guns, you guys, I carry them... Most of the time, big, you no know, full-size guns, I carry them in either a shoulder holster or maybe uh, a sidearm. That's how I carry mine and everything. I mean, at times, if I got a smaller pistol, I might uh, conceal it, but I have big hands, okay? It may not look that big you know, on TV, but I have big hands, therefore, I got to have a big gun. You know, bigger guns and everything so you can, I can grip the hand. I mean, I got smaller guns, but they got big grips on them, so... Another option you guys can go with, of course, as we all know, the legendary Glock here. This is a Glock 22 40 caliber and everything. Uh, this one holds, this particularly, like I said, I've done all review on all these guns. But I'm just telling you guys heads up. This particular gun holds 15 rounds plus one chamber. Makes it 16. That's a 40 caliber. Okay. Uh, quick review, if I review the last gun and everything. That's also a full size Glock, by the way. Uh, the 45 here, like I said, the SAR US, everything 45 holds 12 round plus one in trying to make 13. It's full size. The Glock here holds 15 plus one, it's a 40 caliber. Uh, it holds 15 plus one, which is 16. Now, this one here, if I can get it, it's the FN FNS 9 millimeter. Okay, FNS 9 millimeter. This one holds 17 plus one in the chamber makes 18 and everything. And by the way, guys, uh, especially by me carrying the shoulder holster, all three of these guns I just showed you, I have multiple mags for them. So normally, if you guys, especially if you see me in public, for those, you know, who are related to me or, you know, know me personally and everything, I carry my firearm on the left side. This is the way the shoulder holster is for a cross draw with two extra mags. So at time, depending on the capacity, of each gun, everything I can hold anywhere to almost 50 rounds just for that gun alone. Of course, I carry more guns than that and everything. Maybe like a backup 9mm holds 15 or 13 or something like that. Just to be safe, you know. And of course, always a pocket knife. But um, you guys, like I said and everything, truck drivers, we don't, we're very unappreciated and everything. This screwed up ass country. Uh, get home. They got all these laws for us to obey, all these laws for us not that we can't do this, we can't do that. If somebody try to break check us, we can't respond. We can't do this. We can't, we can't run them off the road and everything. Man, fuck all that. Fuck all that. I'm sorry. I don't have time for that shit, man. You get home to your family and everything. You got people, truck drivers, of course, you don't never, you don't hear it on the news. And everything, but you get truck drivers, they get shot out here. They get uh, robbed out here. Female truck drivers get raped out here and everything. You got truck drivers been jumped, been beat up and everything. Money stole from them, hitting back of the head and stuff and everything. You have truck drivers that have dealt with this and either the media don't report it or they make light of it and everything. So that's why I say you have you a strap. A thumper or whatever slang y'all want to use and everything. I'm just saying you have some heat with you when you travel around this country. This is a prejudiced country and everything. And whether you white or black and everything, this is a screwed up country. But specifically on the prejudice statement, obviously I'm talking to my brothers, to my black brothers. But at the same time, I have you no know, white brothers as well. But at the same time, you guys, whether you black or white, I'm not making this a race video, whether you black or white and everything. You have some heat going with you around this country. I'm sorry and everything. Like I said, you know the laws for the states you travel to. You know the laws for the states you live in, especially if you're a local driver. And for you local drivers and everything, I recommend you guys have you a nice little small 940 
or 45, whatever how you want to do it, that's compact that you can conceal on you while you're delivering the goods to these stores and stuff. Because a lot of these local drivers and everything, they get robbed. They're the main ones that get robbed. Guys that work for like, you know, like Pepsi, Coca-Cola, Dairymans, uh, what's another one? Seven Up, uh, Giant Eagle and everything. Guys that are local that deliver, you know, food and stuff and to warehouses and stuff either late at night or early morning or during the day. And it's in some bad areas and everything. You got to make sure that if a threat comes on you and everything, that you be prepared because you got guys that have gotten a truck after they made a delivery, you know, two wheel dolly. I know I used to do two wheel dolly, never been robbed and everything. One big reason why I never been robbed, like I said, one, I watched my surroundings and two, I always carried one of these with me and everything. I did wasn't this particular gun, but I always had a damn gun with me. I'd be damned. You try to rob me and I have some for my hard earned money and everything. It may not be much, but shit is still mine. So I'm just telling you guys and everything. You watch your backs out there, truck drivers. They don't give a shit about us. And you even have to watch your back for other truck drivers or four-wheelers and everything. They'll be trying to rob and beat and get mad at you, follow you off the highway. There's nobody around and all that and everything. They try to do something to you and everything. You be ready for in case some shit goes down. And don't be scared to pull that damn trigger. Don't be scared. I'm going to say it again. Don't be scared to pull that damn trigger. You light they ass up. Because they don't give a damn about us. They try to steal our cargo. They try to steal our trucks. They try to steal our money and everything. Do all this stuff and everything to, uh, to us truck drivers and everything. And yet, if the truck just stop moving, stop uh, moving freight, this whole country would come to a standstill. But yet, we get treated like shit all the time. So, in closing, you guys, you be prepared. I just gave you three options and everything. Uh, you can get, uh, probably next time I'll maybe show you guys some concealed options out there, but you got your options, you know, you can get a small, you know, G2 Taurus that's compact, especially for you local guys, especially you local guys, can't stress that enough and everything. Y'all the more primed to get robbed and everything because y'all going to different stores, back alleys and stuff and everything and no one's around but you, somebody could be sitting there waiting in your truck and they could try to rob you. And everything. So that's what I'm just telling you. Check your truck before you get inside. Check your truck and everything constantly when you're in and out of the stores, bumping the stairs with the two-wheel dolly. Deliver. I did all of that. That's how I'm able to tell you. I, did, I ain't sitting here just spitting shit to you that I ain't experienced myself. And everything. I'm just telling you the truth. Check your truck before you get inside. And if you see somebody ass in there and everything before you get in there, you draw that damn gun so you get your ass out of there. Hold it, and if they get wild, they get crazy, light them up. It's either light them up or your ass ain't getting home to your your family. And for you lady truckers out there and everything, y'all especially, especially uh, lady truckers and everything, I'm all for, first of all, I'm all for women's rights. I believe women should be treated equal as men. I, will, I believe that if it wasn't for women, it wouldn't be no man. But at the same time, everything, ladies, make sure y'all, yourself, under that cute little skirt y'all wear, make sure y'all got y'all nice little nine millimeter or forty caliber or forty five, whatever how you want to rock it and everything. You make sure you got something to bust somebody in their ass, cause they try to rape y'all. That's something else. Trucker, female trucker has been raped, been kidnapped, been uh, uh you know, um, right? Yes, they raped, kidnapped, killed, left for dead, uh, all kind of stuff that happened to them and everything. You ladies, truckers, protect yourself. Please protect yourself. You lady truckers, if you find yourself in an environment and everything that you know you don't feel comfortable in or men keep pushing up on you or it's a bunch of men around and they're making you uncomfortable and everything, you be ready to get your hand on your gun. And don't, I'm going to tell you something else also before I end this video. This for all the truckers, both male and female. When you get out of the truck at night, and I'm telling you this from experience because I'm a trucker myself. When you get out of the truck at night, and you in another state that you don't live in. When you back your truck in, I know you're tired as hell. You did 650 or 700 miles that day or 550 miles that day, whatever the case may be. And you're tired as hell. When you get out of that damn truck, have your gun on you. Have your gun on you. Don't have the shit in the truck. It ain't going to do you no good if something happened on your way going to uh, getting your shower or getting you something to eat out of the truck stop or doing your laundry. Have your gun on you. Okay. Me personally, I'm going to tell you how, how I roll. I carry three guns with me in the truck. 
I've always did that. I carry me. I carry three guns with me in the truck. One that's on me. Two that's a backup pistol. And number three, the big dog. Now you may say, well, oh, Brandon, what's the big dog? That's either a shotgun or a machine gun. <laughs> that's how I roll. No bullshit. That's how I roll. I got one on me while I'm going in to take my shower, give me something to eat and everything after a hard day of uh, driving. I got one in the truck in case I need for a backup pistol. And I got another, well, I got to call it a big dog, to be in case shit get real wild. And you got multiple assholes you got to deal with. Just try to come out with that AR-15 or the AK-47. Or another one that I have is the 12-gauge uh, the shotgun, particularly the 591. That 590 holds 12, excuse me, holds 9 rounds. So... Make sure you got that and everything. Make sure you're good to go. So I want make I want everybody to get home. Truckers, y'all, we do so much for this country, and yet we get appreciated all the time, unappreciated all the time. So you guys, like I said, I just gave y'all some full size guns and everything. There's other compact guns. So look at the one that best fits you. Make sure you train with that weapon. You draw with that weapon, both ladies and men. I want y'all to get home. This is for everybody: black, white, woman, man, Puerto Rican, whatever you are. I want, if you are a truck driver and you listen to me carefully, get home to your family. Because all these stupid laws and everything, they, they got it where cars and other truck drivers are supposed to do everything they want to us and we ain't supposed to respond. Now, I don't know about you, but shit, I ain't built that way. You do something to me. You, in other words, you fuck with me, I'm going to fuck with your ass back. You get you, had you some heat with you. I'm going to say again, I carry three guns. One on me. Another one is a backup pistol that's in the truck, and a big, a big, oh, uh, like I saw the big dog. Whether that it might be a shotgun or another or a machine gun, depending on uh, how shit is, depending on which one I want to choose. But you ladies, like I say, I can't stress enough, ladies, protect yourself. You see two couple men try to get you in a dark alley and everything, you draw down on that damn gun and you light they ass up. You light they ass up. Get home, uh, lady. Get home, ma'am, and everything. You got a family. You ain't got time for no bullshit. If you say no, no means no. And he keep the he or they keep trying to push up on you to keep doing that and everything. You do what you got to do to get home. I'm just keeping it real with you. I ain't jiving. This is until next video. This is for Reddit 19. This is for all the truckers that I'm talking about and everything. It's specifically for truckers. Get home to your family. I'll catch y'all in the next video. Take care.